So click on the browse button, then the uh, select the folder where you have kept that file. Select that from the file name. So this one is the file name update.upf 05.1.11. This one, click on open. So here you can see the percentage I have started, like how many percentage uh, the file upload and uh, uh, that uh, how many file percentage of the uploadation of the file has completed. Uh, that will be the after the after the cutover date, correct? Right? Because uh, TCL will uh, cut down the MPLS link when we do all the switch over. So now we can see the hundred percent of the file upload has completed. Now click on OK. So it is adding the update file and refreshing that state. So now you can see here the critical fixes. So this uh, previous two files which I have mentioned here. So you have to follow the uh, sequence like first of all you have to download this file and upload it. Then download this file and upload it. And the last one is this one and then upload it. So previously I have already uploaded the first and the second one. Now after uh, this one is the last one which I have just uploaded. So here the install button is activated. So click on the install. So it's installing the updates. So now the installation of the update is completed and it's when I'm installing this update now we'll cause the prime infrastructure to restart immediately. So if you're working into the production environment, so in that case this one is not recommended. So please take the downtime to update from 3.1.0 to 3.1.7. So now let me click on the yes. You can see the message the server is restarting or current user session will be turned into you cannot log in into time structure for 10 minutes or more. 